So welcome everybody. I'm so glad that you are here today. We're going to do some movement together and um, just worship under God's love and his freedom. So I'd like to give the disclaimer that what I do are move suggestions. If you think of something that looks nothing like what I'm doing, but it works for you and your body, then by all means do it. I love modifications and I'll try to show you options all along the spectrum and you can kind of choose where you would like to join in. If it's just standing and listening, if it's going all out and jumping and doing all the moves, it's, it's all good. Being here is so good and just hearing the words and um, yeah, just being in his presence and in community, even though it's virtual today, um, it's, all, it's all good. So the message I have today is object permanence. Um, this is something that uh, has kind of been on my mind. So I'm in a pediatrics online class for my physical therapy program and, um, and also just hanging out with my nephew who is almost 15 months now, it's crazy. So object permanence is a skill that kids master around the age of nine months where say you have like the shell game, you know, when you put like a ball under the shells, you have three of them, move them around, see if they can follow it along. Um, it's just the concept of knowing that there's still a ball or a marble under that shell, even though you've covered it up. And even though you've kind of mixed things around, you know that the ball is somewhere in there, unless I'm David Blaine, which I am not. <laughs> so um, the definition is the understanding that objects continue to exist even when they cannot be seen, heard, touched, smelled, or sensed in any way, which I hadn't really thought of that whole definition. Usually I only associate it with the sight, but any sense in the physical realm uh, is all included. So another example is the game of peekaboo. So much fun. Same concept. So the verse I have for you today is 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18, and this is the message version. So we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart on us. On the inside, where God is making new life, not a day goes by without his unfolding grace. These hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times, the lavish celebration prepared for us. There's far more here than meets the eye. The things we see now are here today, gone tomorrow but the things we can't see now will last forever. And then this is the same, um, this is just Second Corinthians, just verse 18, um, the NIV version. So we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So just kind of let that ruminate as we move along and we'll revisit it during our cool down. So first we'll start with our kickboxing. We'll move into like a glute booty <laughs> Tabata, and then we'll move into our drumsticks. So you won't need anything to start with. Let's start our playlist. So you're gonna take a wide stance, get your arms in the block position. You're gonna do jab, block. Jab is just in the front. You can add a little hop. So now we're going to do a block with a cross. Block, cross. Good. You can kind of turn your hips with it. You're strong. Pulling the arm right back. Now speed bag. Kind of add your hips if you want. Switch sides. Good. Switch sides again. Now punch center. Strong in the core. Back to speed bag. Other side. Front center. Both. Okay. See? I make mistakes too. It's okay. <laughs> You're gonna block and cross. Back to the speed bag. There you go. Other side. Switch side. Front punch, strong in the core. Change direction on a speed bag. 
a little mind game. All right, slow circles. Keep going, other way. Another. One more. Now we're gonna do a slow hook. And a slow uppercut. Good. Back to our speed bag. Other side. Center punch. Nice little warm up. Center punch. Back to those big circles. You don't have to go as low as I do. Here. Good. It's nice and slow. Your legs waking up. We do back to that slow hook and uppercut. Hook. Uppercut. Eat it up. You are your own resistance here. Your power is really coming to the core. Your elbow keeps the driving floor. And you're kind of catching your punch and recoiling it, if that makes sense. Good, keep going. Back to our speed day. Other side. Center punch. The loons are joining us. I don't know if you can do that. Center punch. Big finish. <laughs> I usually just toss something random in at the end. You can do whatever you like. Okay. Ooh. I'm just gonna pause our. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll maybe edit this out. <laughs> For some reason, it really likes to shuffle on me, and I don't want it to do that. Here we go. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect <laughs> because it never will be. <laughs> okay. So our next one, we're gonna do two jabs and twist. Jab, jab, twist. You kind of have your little power stance here. With your feet slightly out, a little squat maybe, but not too far. Good, now we're gonna squat with a side kick. If your side kick is a side tap, that's good too. Or if it's somewhere in the middle. Okay, so we're gonna do a front, side, back, clap, other side. Front, side. There you go. Stay here. It's okay to smile. It's okay if it looks goofy. No one can see you anyway. All right, show me your big muscles. Back to the top. Two jabs. Back to the squat and a side kick. Again, if your squat is a mini, mini squat like this with a side tap, it's good. Back to our chorus, front, side, back, and other side. Get a little bouncy with the squat. We're just waking up our body here. Or maybe this is a lot for you. Side kick. Now we're gonna do a knee, knee, squat, squat, knee, knee, squat. Yes, I messed that up. <laughs> so if you're doing a different beat, that's okay. You can do a little jump with it. Okay, 
Otherwise, if it's this, that's it too. Back to our chorus. There you go. Front, side, back. Really pack power into those punches. Good. All right, this next one, if you want, we'll get that heart rate up. So we're going to start off to the side. So we're going to do some side steps. Love this song, always have. I like to think of God as our biggest cheerleader. He totally is. All right, we're going to do jab, cross, jab, up, down, up, down, jab, cross, jab, up, down, up. If you want, you can add a hop. Keep going. I feel like this song is similar. Hold on, I'll finish that thought later. Okay. The swing punch and a side step or a Heisman. Swing punch. There you go. Either a step or a Heisman. Back to our. There you go. <laughs> Up, down, yeah, yeah. up, yeah. Adding that hop if you want. So, I feel like this song is similar to the gospel where it is simple, the same moves over and over, but it's not always the easiest to implement. Because, <laughs> right, life comes up, temptations come up. But it's so simple to take on his yoke. Okay. Let's stay center. You can stay at this pace, or if you want to go more, you're here. Just kind of catch your breath. I know. Jesus is up there right now with the biggest pom pom. You're the one. You can do it. All right. Jab, cross, jab, up, down, up, down. Swing punch. You know your options. that center punch if you're here that's good or if you're a little faster you're here there you go now we're moving on to our Tabata so I have the timer we're gonna work for 25 seconds but it's gonna be minimal rest so we're gonna only have a couple seconds of transition so here's where you can grab that extra dumbbell if you want but totally don't need it all right so our first move we're gonna be on our back and we're working our left glute first so that's the one that's gonna be down and we're just doing a bridge lift with one leg up in the air. Good. If you want this to be a little more challenging, don't put your bum down all the way to the floor. 
if you if this is really challenging for you now just think about lifting it up off the floor or you can set that new bed too Three, three, two, one. So quick little rest, and we're back in it. So now you're just gonna hold at the top wherever your top is, and you're gonna give little pulses. And it's really coming through this glute muscle. This top leg is not doing much work. It's just kind of hanging out up there. You're really squeezing this glute down here. Three, two, one. Good. Relax. Okay, we're back in it. So now you're gonna hold at your top wherever your top is and lift and lower this leg. So for me, I'm I'm lifting and lowering my right leg, but whichever leg you're on is just fine. And again, your top might not be way up here. It might be just thinking about leaving the floor. You might still be on the floor. That's just fine. All right, resting. We're moving fast. So you're gonna come over onto your right side. And you can be here. We're doing circles with that left leg forward. Or if you're on your side, that's good too. Three, two, one, rest. All right, and we're back up and we're going the opposite direction. It's hard work, but you were made for hard things. You're not meant to do this on your own strength. You're meant to call upon our Lord in heaven, who is the strength of all things. And through him, we can do all things. All right, rest. Now we're flipping over to all fours. And here's where you can add in that weight. We're just doing a donkey kick. If you have a weight, don't drop your stick. <laughs> you can put it in at your knee. And you're just doing it nice, slow. Donkey kick. Again, I'm still working my left leg here. Okay, quick rest. And we're back in it with a pulse at the top. So if your top is here, that's just fine. You know your limit. You need a rest for a couple seconds. That's just fine too. Five, three, two, one. Good, quick rest. Keep rest. All right, now we're out to the side with a fire hydrant. Maybe I'll show you And if you need a little something on your knee, like a pillow, or roll up, hold over a bit of your towel or yoga mat. But here, we're trying not to fall to the side. We're trying to keep our alignment. Strong to the floor. One. Woo! Okay. I would say it gets easier, but this is where you gotta dig deep. Okay, so we're lifting up the left leg. We're switching sides, back to the top. We're just pressing that heel up. We're just feeling engaging. Our working, working leg is really hard. That's an important uh, muscle group. Okay, rest. <laughs> I want to make you work more than you have to. Okay, we're pulsing. You can do it. Yes, you can. And you're doing great, by the way. I'm really proud of you. Five, three, two, one, rest. And we're back in it. We're just holding at the top and lowering that leg. So this muscle group is super important for being upright. And it can really help with slow back pain. A lot of times when our glutes aren't strong, the forces that they should be handling go to our low back. It's kind of like, it's all a connected chain. And forces follow the path of least resistance. Okay, so now 
We're back on our side. Oh boy, oh boy. It is a brain game. Little circles, forward. So now I'm working my right leg. And again, you can work from down here. You can see my hips are down. Quick rest. It goes fast. It'll be over before you know it. Okay, and we're working again. So we're doing little circles, opposite direction. Another fun fact about the glute muscles, bum muscles, is that they are unique to humans in that that's what allows us to be upright, not operating on all fours like an animal. Okay, so now we are on all fours. You can have that dumbbell if you want. So we're doing our donkey kick. Good, 10 more seconds here. Three, two, one, quick rest. So we're back at it, we're pulsing at the top, wherever your top is. You are stronger than yesterday. Believe Brittany. 10 more seconds, you can do it. Is our fire hydrant out to the side. Keeping your core strong. Keeping your head in line. Fine. Three, two, one. Woo! Woke up your good. Good work. Grab a quick drink. You know the rest of this song. Do whatever you need to do. If you're like me, have your towel. No shame. Whatever you're using. Dance. Dance it out. Just bonus. Alright, here we go. Find me, or find yourself. In a wide stance, hit down, hit up. If you're not hitting the floor, that's just fine. Good, so we're doing a knee pull with a hit at the top. It's like 25 the laps that you bust out of prison. Something's in the air, something's in the air. Other side. If this march is only this big off the ground, that's just fine. Something's in the air, something's in the air. So we're gonna do a sweep. And a hit to the side. Again, if you're not hitting the ground, that's just fine. Only go as far as you can keep that chest upright. Back to the top. Big hit down. Now we're going to do a little rainbow with a lunge. Good. Back goes knee pull. You work so hard that you know you wouldn't settle. Hands are in the air, hands are in the air. Other side. When they hear you when you thought they wouldn't listen. It's like an anthem Lift the, the corners of your singing. mouth. Hands are in the air, hands are in the air. Whoa. Back to that chorus with the sweep. Something big, I feel it. Make it a little. Take it if you want. Pushing, falling, and it's grabbing me. Hit down. There you go. If you're borrowing my stick, you have full permission to break them. I have more. That's the rainbow. Okay, 
Okay, here we're gonna twist. Keeping our knees line with our toes. And we're sitting straight down, not like this or like this. So if you want, you can add a hop. Otherwise, you can keep twisting. Twist. Hop. Your core is tight. Good. Back to sweep. Whatever it looks like, it's good. Sit down. Rainbow. Keep that knee behind your heels. Good, we'll keep the sticks. Okay. Think I can fly. So we're gonna do a double Think pulse. I can fly when I'm with you. My arms are wide. Fun fact, YouTube blocked this song for me in Belgium and one other country over there. Singles, so I'm guessing this artist, back to doubles. From Belgium. So now I want you to sweep. With just one hand. Sweep, sweep, tap, tap. And you're kind of doing a little lunge over that. Well, for you, your right leg. And again, if you're not touching the floor, that's just fine. So now I want you to hold it up. Music. Good. It's five hits of the task if you're wondering. Good. So this time, down, just on one side for alternating sides. Down, behind, down, up. If you want to hit the floor and add a hop, you're here. So now, you're doing it back. Put them press up with your foot. If you're here, that's just fine. You know your level. Good. Back to that pose. Good. Squeezing that back body. Back to doubles. So now we're going the other side. Just a sweep and two hits at the top. Again. It's here. That's just fine. No shame in modification. So now you're going to stay up for five. Good. Sweep. Good. If you want to hit the floor and hop, or hit the floor and not hop, up to you. Now our jack. Again, if you're stepping, that's just fine. We're going to get through this, you and I. <laughs> Now we're just gonna sweep and two hits at the top. Good. Next song. Doing great. Grab a quick drink if you need. So this one is for fun. They're all for fun, right? So you're here, or you're doing a little Heisman. You pick your level. 
If you want more of a challenge, take up whatever space is available to you. So the song is called Get Low. And I really want you to focus on your posture rather than how low you can get. Meaning, I want you to keep your head over your bum and your knees should not cave in over your toes. I want them to stay out. Pulse it out wherever you are. Good. Throw your boat. Hashtag U of M. Give me a drumstick or a drum roll. And now you're up. Side pass and hit your target in the front. Good. So this you're kind of peeking around a tree. I like to think of it. Hey, other side. Now this is like a tripod. Where you're hitting down and behind. Again, if you're not hitting the ground, that's, you know that's just fine. If you want, you can hop. Back to your side step or your Heisman, whatever you choose. again. So now that you know, keep that upright chest. All this around the world, kind of like an octopus maybe. We're doing it, wherever you are. Pull. Good. Hold it here. Throw your boat if you want. Scratch yourself. Give me a drum roll. It's in the air. Just as loud. After our side step. Peeking behind the tree. Other side. I tried to try on. You pick your level. You can hop if you'd like. Back to the top. High to the next step. Big 
luck here. All right, back to that combo. Not all the way to the ground. I'll left this time. to call the stick breaking song. Again, maybe not if you're using your kitchen spoons, but I really want you to hit them hard. So if you just want to do a side step, that's just fine. No, I'm not backing. I'll walk the line. I stay out the way. Yeah, never speak my mind. Stay there. Living in the shade. The more I get to know me, the more you start to show me right. this isn't how it's meant to be. So I'll just keep on walking, and you can keep on talking. I'ma have to make the scene. Good. Yeah. Care pose, just like before. I play it's safe. Good. Take it wide. Fall down. Look 
Double up your mat. So we're gonna press our hips forward. Take that arm over the top. You know, side body stretch there. If you want, you can reach behind you for a quad stretch. But that doesn't feel so great. <laughs> okay, hamstring. Sending our hips back, moving over. Switch sides. Hips forward. Be proud of what you just accomplished. That was great. Coming to a cat cow. Breathe in. I want you to tuck your belly towards the ground. Your bum up and your chin up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Arch your back like a cat. Alright. Now I want you to tuck one leg up wherever it's comfortable. Feel a nice stretch through the glutes that we strengthen. If you're here, if you're here, if you're here. You can get low. You can get low. Then you're gonna lean over on that leg. Swing your other one around and do a pretzel. You can get low. And stretch this glute here. You can get low. Oh, stretch. Unfold yourself to the other side. Oh yeah, that's good. And then knee into that side. Swing the other leg around into your pretzel. Look over your shoulder. So now feel free to keep stretching or find yourself in child's pose, which looks like this your knees apart, or you can lay on your back, whatever is most comfortable, but we just have a couple more minutes together, and now this is our time to receive. A lot of times, um, I think we need to go through this physical exhaustion in order to allow our hearts to be open to receive the message that he wants to give us. 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18. But we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart on us. On the inside, where God is making new life, not a day goes by without his unfolding grace. These hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times. The lavish celebration prepared for us. There's far more here than meets the eye. The things we see now are here today on tomorrow, but the things we can't see now will last forever. It's very easy to look around and see division, destruction, 
helplessness, hopelessness, but I encourage you to remember that as, as dark as it may seem, it is truly but, but small potatoes compared to the joy of everlasting life that our Lord has set apart for us, that is awaiting us. I pray that he would bless you with this message and that you would have an open heart to receive it today. And if not today, tomorrow, or whenever you're ready. I pray that you would find rest in his peace and his promise. And that you would remember Object permanence is a real thing. Even when we can't see, smell, touch, feel, we know that he is there. Amen. Wiggle your toes and your fingers. Take a deep breath.